Okay. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our sing-along jam. Once again, uh, my name is Miss Ashley. I'm a librarian with the San Mateo County Libraries. This frightened bunny rabbit is Elsa. She's my daughter Lily's bunny rabbit. We brought her back to say hi to you. And now I'm going to let her go. She's very large. I don't know if you can see how large she is. But she's sweet and she sheds white hair all over our oh. house. <laughs> All right, goodbye Elsa and Lily, but hello to you. Uh, if this is your first time joining us, we usually like to gather up a few supplies before we get started. We're going to do a lot of songs today because songs are one of the best ways to help you develop the skills you'll need for reading later on. It helps you understand language and it's just a fun way to play with words and sounds, which is something else I like to do a lot in my story times. So if you could go find a, some kind of a cloth or a paper towel or a napkin or a tissue, a blankie, something you could throw up in the air, put on your head. We're going to do a lot of things with that in just a little bit. And then um, we always like to do a little play along because we can all make music even when we're at home and we don't have any official instruments, we can make instruments of our own. So easy things you can do if you have a container of salt like this, it makes a great shaker or a drum, or if you want to make a lot of noise, you can go get a wooden spoon and a pot or even a lid in a pot. Um, I have my instrument here, which is my ukulele. And we're going to do our first song which is a great song because you have to listen closely and also because you can add in whatever kinds of motions you like to do. And it's called We Bounce and We Bounce and We Stop. So first we're going to pretend that we are bunny rabbits because they can bounce really well. They have very strong legs, I can tell you that for sure from our rabbit. So let's get ready to pretend that we're bunny rabbits and let's bounce. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we stop. Did we get that stop? Let's try it again. Sometimes I might take a little break before I start again just to trip you up. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we stop. Great job. Let's see. Let's stomp our feet. You can't see me stomping my feet, but I have my friend Warbit to demonstrate. He's going to stomp his feet. Stomping feet is something that rabbits do really well. Uh, our rabbit, when she's upset about something, she stomps her foot so loudly that we can hear it all over the house. Can you try that? Let's stomp your foot as loudly as you can. Oh, that was so loud. <laughs> So let's stomp. We stomp, we stomp, we stomp. We stomp, we stomp, we stomp. We stomp, we stomp, we stomp, we stomp, we stomp, we stomp, we stomp. Good job. And rabbits, they also wiggle their noses all day long. Can you wiggle your nose? Feels kind of funny. We wiggle our nose, we stop. We wiggle our nose, we stop. We wiggle our nose and we wiggle our nose and we wiggle our nose and we stop. Great job. Can you twist from side to side? That feels really good. We twist and we twist and we stop. We twist and we twist and we stop. We twist and 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 we stop. Can you run in place? We run and we run and we stop. We run and we run and we stop. We run and 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 we stop. Great job. Let's tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle yourself or somebody close by who will let you tickle them. We tickle and we tickle and we stop. We tickle and we tickle and we stop. We tickle and 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 we stop. And then we always hug ourselves or somebody we love close by. Could even be your stuffed animal or your blankie. We hug, we hug, we stop. We hug, we hug, we stop. We hug, we hug, we hug, we hug, we hug, we hug, we stop. And now let's bounce one more time. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we 
Great job. That song is so much fun. All right, I do a really silly song now. Today we're doing all songs and stories about weather. So uh, this song is called Singing in the Rain. It's um, based on an old song that was written by Arthur Freed and Nasio Herb, oh, what is his last name? Brown, <laughs> Nasio Herb Brown uh, wrote the original song, but this is a silly camp version that you may have heard before. We get to do lots of silly motions. So it goes like this. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling, I'm happy again. And then we say, arms up. Ooka chaka, ooka chaka, ooka cha cha. Ooka chaka, ooka chaka, ooka cha cha. Got it? We repeat, I'm singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. Arms out. Thumbs up. Ooka chaka, ooka chaka, ooka cha cha. Ooka chaka, ooka chaka, ooka cha cha. I'm singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling, I'm happy again. Arms up, thumbs up, head back. Ooka chaka, ooka chaka, ooka cha cha. Ooka chaka, ooka chaka, ooka cha cha. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling, I'm happy again. Arms up, thumbs up, head back, tongue out. Uka taka, uka taka, uka tata. Uka taka, uka taka, uka tata. That's hard to do. <laughs> it's hard to sing with your tongue sticking out. All right, but now we have a book about rain. That's called, I love the rain. Do you love the rain? I sure do. It makes everything really green. And it feels really nice on your face. And that's kind of what this book is about. So this is from one of our ebook collections called Overdrive that you can get to from smcl.org with your library card. And it's by Margaret Park Bridges and illustrated by Christine Davigny. That means she drew the pictures. <coughs> so I love the rain. Look at this little girl having the best time. This is published by Chronicle Books. I hate the rain. As I waited for the bus home, I huddle under my umbrella, but Sophie turns hers upside down. You're all wet, I say. What's so great about being dry? Here they are, see? Molly's sitting under her umbrella. She looked really un unhappy, but her sister's got her tongue out just like we did in the song and her umbrella's upside down. Look at that puddle, Molly. It's a face with raindrop freckles. You see her in the reflection in the puddle? Hmm, I say. And see the shiny wet street? Doesn't it remind you of your best party shoes? Maybe, I say. And the leaves floating down the gutter, they're little runaway rafts. I look real hard. Rafts for ants, I ask. You see these leaves here floating in the gutter? Yes, ants riding the rapids, heading for a waterfall. Inside the bus, we watch raindrops race down the windows. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Broom, broom. See the rain racing down the window? They're imagining it looks like little cars. What's that sound on the roof, asked Sophie. Tap dancers, I jump in. A whole chorus line on stage above us. We tap our toes all the way to our stop. Can you tap your toes on the floor? See how the rain makes the street steam, I say. Sometimes you'll see that if it's raining, you'll see steam like smoke coming off of the sidewalk. Like plates of fresh hot pasta, Sophie licks her lips. What's for dessert? Sugar cookies, I say, with sprinkles. The raindrops fall on my face like confetti in a parade. 
we're the band leaders, Molly, and the crowd is cheering. Can you cheer? Yay! We begin to sing, sun, sun, go away. The rain feels like kisses from the sky, Sophie giggles, or kisses from my mother. But not as slurpy as kisses from Rufus. I think this is Rufus the dog. He's going, Hoop. careful girls, you're going to get all wet. What's so great about being dry? I say, I love the rain. Doesn't that make you want to go play in the rain? There she is. She's got her tongue out again, trying to lick those raindrops. And that's, I love the rain. So now it's time for another song about rain that we've done once before. This one's called, If All the Raindrops Were Lemon Drops and Gum Drops. And lemon drops are these kinds of candy that are sour and also sweet, you suck on them. And these are gum drops that you may have seen around the holidays. They're very chewy and they have different flavors. So this song is about what would happen if the rain were this kind of candy. You could just stand outside and catch it in your mouth like that. So there's a part of the song that goes like this. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide. Ah, 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 ah. Can you do that? I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide. Ah, 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 Good, let's try it. If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, so what a rain it would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide. Here we go. Ah, 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 ah. If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, so what a rain it would be. Now, if, if all the snowflakes were chocolate bars and milkshakes, yum. If all the snowflakes were chocolate bars and milkshakes, so what a snow it would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide. Ah, 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 ah. If all the snowflakes were chocolate bars and milkshakes, so what a snow that would be. If all the sunbeams, those beams of light that come through the window, were bubblegum and ice cream. If all the sunbeams were bubblegum and ice cream, oh, what a sun that would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide. Ah, 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 ah. If all the sunbeams were bubblegum and ice cream, oh, what a sun that would be. I hope you'll take that song. You can make the raindrops into popsicles and cupcakes or any other kind of food that you like. And now it's time for our scarf songs. So get out whatever kind of cloth you found around the house. Okay, this is gonna be our rain and then our snow. So the rain is falling down, splash, and then it goes pitter patter, pitter patter. And then when we get to the snow, it goes shh, and then it goes swirling, twirling, swirling, twirling. So it goes like this. Rain is falling down, splash. Rain is falling down, splash. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Rain is falling down, splash. Snow is falling down. Snow is falling down, Shh. swirling, twirling, swirling, twirling, snow is falling down. Shh. Let's try that again. Rain is falling down, splash. Rain is falling down, splash. Pitter patter, pitter patter, rain is falling down, splash. Snow is falling down, shh. Snow is falling down, shh. Swirling, twirling, swirling, twirling. Snow is falling down, shh. I'm laughing because there's white rabbit hair falling down, so it does look like snow in my bedroom right now. <laughs> All right, we're going to do another song about snow. This one's actually about five little snow people standing in a row. Each has a hat and a brightly colored bow. And then the snow people, sadly, they're going to melt, but it's kind of fun to do. They're, they're going to melt down like this. So you can melt all the way to the floor. I can't show you melting, myself melting all the way to the floor. Um, but my frog, Orbit, 
I'll show you, you kind of melt down and curl up and then we're going to pop up again and sing the song again. All right, this is a traditional rhyme that somebody converted into a song. And sadly, I wish I knew who did this particular version. But it goes like this. Five little snowmen standing in a row, each with a hat and a brightly colored bow. Five little snowmen dressed up all for show. Now they are ready. Where will they go? Wait till the sun shines. Wait till the sun shines. Then they will go. Ready to melt? Down through the fields with the melting, melting snow. Now you can melt all the way down to the floor and curl up in a pop up. Now we're going to be four little snow women. Four little snow women standing in a row, each with a hat and a brightly colored bow. Four little snow women dressed up all for show. Now they are ready. Where will they go? Wait till the sun shines. Wait till the sun shines, then they will go down through the fields with the melting, melting snow. Melt all the way down and then pop! Now we're gonna be three little snow bunnies. Three little snow bunnies standing in a row, each with a hat, you make little ears, and a brightly colored bow. Three little snow bunnies dressed up all for show. Now they are ready. Where will they go? Wait till the sun shines. Wait till the sun shines. Then they will go down through the fields with the melting, melting snow. Pop, pop. Now we'll do two little snow frogs or orbit. Two little snow frogs standing in a row each with a hat and a brightly colored bow. Two little snow frogs dressed up all for show. Now they are ready. Where will they go? Wait till the sun shines. Wait till the sun shines. Then they will go down through the fields with the melting, melting snow. And pop, pop. We only have one left, so you think of what you would make out of snow. If you could make a snow creature, I'm going to make a snow dragon. One little snow dragon standing in a row. She has a hat and a brightly colored bow. One little snow dragon dressed up all for show. Now she is ready. Where will she go? Wait! till the sun shines. Wait till the sun shines. Then she will go down through the fields with a melting, melting snow. Pop, pop. Yay! Isn't that a fun song? Okay, you can hang on to your scarf because we have one more book and it's about a snowy day. This one's also from Overdrive on smcl.org. This is what's called a, a read-along book on Overdrive. And it's a lot of fun because it actually has parts of the pages, the pictures will move, which makes it really fun to read. This is a very, very famous book called The Snowy Day. It was written by Ezra Jack Keats and it's published by Viking, which is part of Penguin Books. The snowy day. It was one of my favorites when I was a kid. Look how much fun that would be. The snowy day sliding down this great big mountain. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. 
crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. You see the picture moving? He walked with his toes pointing out like this. Can you make your toes point out? You put the backs of your feet together like that. It's hard to walk that way, like a duck. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Can you make your toes point in? That's even harder to do. <laughs> then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. That's fun to do if you're in your house in your socks, drag your feet. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick, a stick that was just right for smacking a snow covered tree. Down fell the snow, you got your scarf, plop on top of Peter's head. That would be very cold. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough, not yet. Can you make a snowball out of your cloth? And then you can throw it up in the air or you can throw it at your grown up. So he made a smiling snowman, just like the one in our song. And he made angels. That's when you lie in the snow and you wave your arms up and down like this. And when you stand up, it makes a print that looks like an angel. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow. You got your cloth and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Wouldn't it be nice to be in that warm bath after being out in the snow? Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. See the wet spot? I think that snowball melted away. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. And there's the man who wrote the book, Ezra Jack Keats. And that is the snowy day. I bet a lot of the grown-ups out there have read that book when they were kids. All right, it's time to do our play along. So find whatever things you found, had around the house to make noise with. We're going to do a song called Mr. Sun, which was popularized by Raffi. You may have heard his version of it. That's the part where the sun hides behind a tree. And it goes like this. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. Peekaboo! These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. It's gonna get a little faster. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. Peekaboo! These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. One more time. today. There we go. Before we leave, I always like to give you something you can do at home as sort of an art project. So, and this is one of the cleanest art projects I have come up with. This is water painting. It's really easy, really fun. All you need is a piece of paper. Now, colored paper works the best. If you can find a piece of colored paper around your house, 
you can do it with white paper too. So this is construction paper. This is a cup of, yes, water. You can't see in there, but it's water. And you can either use a paintbrush or I like to use a Q-tip cotton swab. And all you do is dip your Q-tip into the water and you can draw a picture on your paper. I'm gonna do a snowman like in our song. There's his little carrot nose. You do a great big body and some stick arms and then some little buttons. And the really neat thing about water painting is it, you don't get to keep it forever, although you could take a picture of it or get your grown-up to take a picture. Um, but once it dries, it disappears and you can keep using this piece of paper over and over and over again and make all kinds of pictures with it. So that's water painting. Another fun thing you can do on a rainy day is you can get some markers and draw pictures on a white piece of paper, take it outside in the rain for just a minute or just leave it outside the door. And when you bring it in, it will have beautiful patterns where the rain fell. So that's a fun thing to do on a rainy day, besides jumping in the puddles. Well, that's about all the time we have. Um, but it's time for our ending song, which is, as always, it's Freight Train by Elizabeth Cotton. And the version we're doing is the kids' version written by Elizabeth Mitchell. So let's take our train. Here we go. Our instruments. Freight Train, Freight Train, running so fast. Freight Train, Freight Train, running time we have before we go though I want to show you quickly since um, that snowy day, day book is really fun because it's got those pictures that move and I wanted to quickly show you another collection of books you can get to from smcl.org called tumble book library you can um, visit this collection it's got all kinds of books in oh I have to log in but <laughs> why don't you log in you can click on different books and they'll actually read aloud often by the author of the book and the pictures move just like that um, book I just showed you. So there's lots of fun books on here for all ages and there's even some games and there's books in Spanish and French as well. So I hope you'll have a chance to check that out, Tumble Book Library on smcl.org. All right, that's all the time we have, but thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time. <laughs>